Charges of sexual assault and a cover-up have rocked the powerhouse football program at Hamilton High School in Chandler. Criminal charges against three teenagers and multi-million dollar lawsuits are looming. Now, the whistleblower who exposed this scandal is coming forward for the first time. This person is talking only to our Donna Rossi on the agreement of anonymity. We do need to warn you, the CBS 5 investigation contains graphic details that are tough to hear. Frustration and disbelief prompted this parent to speak out nine months after blowing the lid off the sex scandal. Frustration that administrators who allegedly knew about the sex hazing have not been charged. And disbelief that the Hamilton community seems to be rallying around the football program and not the victims. On two occasions, my son came to me uh, with information that uh, led me to believe that he was afraid to go in the locker room at Hamilton. This parent could see the fear in their freshman football player's eyes. And while their son was not a victim or eyewitness, things got real pretty quick. He came home from school and basically said, Dad, they got one of my friends today. And I said, what do you mean they got one of your friends? And he said, some of the older players uh, grabbed my friend, they put him on the bench, they, they pulled his pants down, they uh, digitally penetrated him, and uh, basically sexually assaulted him. That disclosure prompted the parent to write this email, dated February 10th, 2017. It was sent to Officer Kevin Quinn, Hamilton's school resource officer, and copied to Assistant Superintendent Dr. Craig Gilbert. The email contained specifics about things the parents said they were hearing over and over about underclassmen on the team being sexually assaulted as a rite of passage, something that occurred on a regular basis. The parent who wrote the email has been publicly silent until now. But they asked, we hide their identity. Let's not kid ourselves. This isn't hazing. This is sexual assault. And there are victims out there that we have to consider, victims that are going to deal with this for the rest of their lives. Now that you know the scope of the investigation, what are your thoughts? Um, I'm a little bit shocked, to be honest with you. I didn't realize the depth of it um, or the period of time that had allegedly been taking place. Three players have been charged and six victims identified. Investigators also requested charges against former football coach Steve Bellis, principal Ken James, and athletic director Sean Rustad. The police report indicates the three knew about the sexual assault allegations, some as far back as 2016, but failed to report them to police as required. But if people sat down and read it, based on what the affidavit says, I think it would blow their mind. After reading what you've read, do you believe that those administrators knew what was going on? Without question, 100%. The district allowed the three staffers to remain on campus for seven months before reassigning them off campus. I don't understand the decision to wait so long to do it. You believe they should have been taken off campus immediately? Uh, I believe so, yeah. Given the, um, the, the type of crime we're talking about and the um, alleged knowledge that they had of it, I, I believe it should have been immediate. This parent is speaking out now out of frustration that no charges have been filed against the administrators and over the lack of outrage among Hamilton parents. I am completely shocked by that. Um, I will tell you from the outside looking in, the appearance is that the community is circling the wagons, so to speak, but not circling the right wagon. I think they're circling the wagons to protect a prestigious program. Investigators and prosecutors believe there are more victims out there. We know there are more victims. But since the county attorney's plea last month for more people to come forward, no one has. I believe that um, the culture that's been created is, is preventing that. Um, the fact that the administrators were left on campus as long as they were probably prevented that. And if you're a parent that's preventing that, you should be ashamed of yourself. More than three months ago, the Chandler police recommended charges be filed against the former coach, the principal, and the AD. The Maricopa County Attorney's Office has not yet made a charging decision. Donna Rossi for Arizona's Family. And CBS 5 News has been following this developing story since the beginning. To see this exclusive interview and read more into our investigation at Hamilton High, head to azfamily.com.